You may have heard about the Home Mini from Octopus. They developed it in-house to solve a number of problems found with in-home displays. It communicates with your smart meter and uploads it to Octopus, allowing access from the app and an API. An integration connects to this API and allows the data to be used in Home Assistant. It allows access to energy data anywhere, at any time. You can see both current and historic data from the app and within Home Assistant. You can see solar export in real time on the app which is not yet supported within Home Assistant. You will need to be with Octopus Energy. See in the description for a special offer to switch to them and receive a £50 credit on your first bill. You'll also need a smart meter. To get the Home Mini, you will need to visit the page linked in the description. This explains exactly what the Home Mini is and how to get one. The Home Mini is created by a small team within Octopus and there are a lot of people who want one. You may be waiting a few weeks before yours is sent out, but it is worth the wait. In the meantime, install the Octopus app as you'll need it to set up the Home Mini. If you're not with Octopus yet, use my link below to switch. You'll get £50 credit on your first bill using my link. Once your Home Mini arrives, it's very simple to set up. Make sure you've got the Octopus app installed and simply scan the QR code in the small booklet it comes with. Follow the instructions in the app to link it to your Wi-Fi and it's set up and will start to communicate with your smart meter shortly. You will need to have the Hacks add-on installed. If you haven't yet installed this, refer to our earlier video linked or in the description below. The integration instructions are located at https bottlecapdave.github.io slash home assistant hyphen octopus energy and we will be following these to set the integration up. We will start with adding the repository to Hacks. The repository link is the add the repository link in the github page but is also in the description below. Click open link within the home assistant screen. At the bottom right of the screen click download and download on the pop-up screen. Once complete scroll down to the how to set up section and click on setup guide. This will take you back to the github page. Click on the integration UI link. Again you'll be prompted to open the link within Home Assistant. You'll be asked if you want to set up Octopus Energy. Click OK. You'll need some information to complete the following form. The information needed can be found at the links provided within, also copied in the description. Your account ID is usually listed in your Octopus account page. The API key is within your personal details. The gas calorific value is found on your bill. Check the I have a home mini box and favour direct debit rates if you pay this way. Click Submit. If this was successful, you'll be presented with two devices, the electricity and gas meter. If you get an error or something is missing, check you've entered the API key and account ID correctly. If you prefer, add the area your meters are located, in my case the garage. Click Finish. Next, click on Energy in the Home Assistant menu. Then click the three dots and select Energy Configuration. You'll be presented with a number of sections. 
we're interested in electricity grid and gas consumption. Click add consumption. We need to add two things here, the consumed energy and an entity to track the total costs. In consumed energy, enter sensor.octopus and from the filter results, select current accumulative consumption electricity. From the radio buttons below, select use an entity tracking the total costs option. Select current accumulative consumption electricity costs. The entities might be difficult to see fully due to the entity including your meter serial number and MPAN. So select the one with the pound sign. Click save. You might get a message to say statistics not defined. This is because the entity is likely empty at that point. It hasn't yet fetched the data. It may take a while for this to populate. For gas, we do the same. Click add consumption. In gas usage, enter sensor.octopus and from the filter results, select current accumulative consumption gas. From the radio buttons below, select use an entity tracking the total costs option and enter sensor.octopus to filter. Select current accumulative consumption gas costs with the pound sign. Click save. Click the back arrow to go back to the energy dashboard. It is likely there is nothing showing at all. It can take two or more hours for data to start populating. After some time the energy data will have started populating. If so, you're finished and can now log your energy usage over time. There are other entities available from this integration which are beyond the scope of this guide. We'll cover these in a later video. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you liked what you saw. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron at my Patreon. The details are below.